Welcome back to another tutorial right here on Free Will Photos. Today we're going to be looking at versions inside of Almond Photo Raw, how you can use them, and what they're really designed to do. So let's go ahead and jump right into the computer and get started. Okay, so here we are inside of Almond Photo Raw, and as you can see, I have two photos in front of me. Uh, very simply put, versions is just a way of creating different copies without taking up too many resources or too much of the resource on your computer. Very easy to make and they work pretty well. So what I'm going to do is open up this image and I'm just going to throw a quick preset on here. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with the Freewell Photos villain because that's probably not going to look good. Uh, and it doesn't. Not too much at least. I'm going to hit AI Auto just to open up some of these and that looks a little bit better let's see what it looks like before okay so before it was pretty uh pale or very very gray uh and now it has more contrast and it looks a little bit cooler okay so i'm gonna hit done and let's say that we actually like this edit all right um, this is not an editing tutorial per se, so I just want to show you how to use versions. So now that I have this image with that particular preset on it, I can go ahead and right click over here and hit create version. When I do that, you'll see that it makes a duplicate. Now you can tell the difference between your version and your original by two ways. The first way is looking into the title as you can see, this is not a renamed image, but it does say whatever these numbers and letters are, uh, V1 at the end there. But what you can also see is in the versions, hover over this for a second, you can see that this says it's a versioned photo. So that's very easy for you to figure out which one is the version uh, and which one is the original. So I'm going to write or go ahead and open up this image. And the cool thing about the version is maybe I want to see this in black and white. So I'm going to come over here and uh, I think I have a black and white. Yeah, black and white portrait. This is designed for a portrait, but I just want to show you the difference. And, you know, maybe I like that. Now, the cool thing is the versions, it saves uh, or it gives you an opportunity to, you know, recreate uh, looks. So now I have this look on the image. I'm going to close this one out. We're going to go back into the uh, tab here. And as you can see, I now have a black and white version. This is on my version one and I have my color version. Uh, and for some reason it doesn't look like it has all of the presets in there, but, uh, we'll assume that it does because it does have the exposure, um, non-destructive edit settings in there. So this is the very basic overview of versions. Now, how do you use versions? The best way that I have found to use versions is you put them inside of an album. Okay. I'm just going to click on this wall clock. And then I am going to open it up and I'll go with this contrast because it looks pretty cool in the thumbnail over here. Let's see how it looks on. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to do that. Hit OK. And then I'm going to right click, create a version, and I'm actually going to create a few versions here. So right click, create a version. And okay, so now I have a few versions. They're all duplicates, but I want to make some different tweaks here. And this is where versions really come in handy. While you're in the browse menu, if you have some presets that you really, really want to use, you can just come in to versions and then you. I'm going to use some of the, the built in presets. And we'll throw culinary on this one. And let's see what happens. Eh, that's okay. I don't really like it, so maybe I'll come over here. 
Okay, so now that works. And maybe I wanna go into architecture and throw on maybe one of these, just to give a little bit of a variation between here. And I'm not a huge fan of what that's doing. Uh, I think it does need a little bit more color. So I'll go with this one. And as you can see, I'll go into my compare mode actually. And I'll select these three images. So you can see them side by side with one another. Uh, and this is probably one of the best ways of using version. You have presets, you have one photo, you wanna see what a, per, like you wanna compare presets with it. Uh, when you create the version, I have three different presets here, and then you can even throw the original in there if you didn't do anything to the original. And this just gives you a quick way of saying, okay, I like this, I don't like that. And you can rate these individually. So if I wanted to give this particular image a four star and maybe this one a three, and that one can stay at a one. I can even unheart them. So now when I go in and I filter through my images, uh, especially if you're doing client work, you can show the clients what it looks like when you're using the version uh, or different um, presets. So that's a really cool way. Or if you just want different options for yourself to choose from, um, or even better, here's what you can do with this, all right? Uh, bear with me for a second as I create this. Uh, but I'm just going to leave all of these selected and I'm going to come over here and hit layers. What this is gonna do, it's asking, this will combine the selected photos into a stack layer. That works perfectly fine because that's what I want to do, all right? Now that I have them in layers, I'm gonna come over to the info tab. Uh, well, once they get done loading. This is a really cool way of working with uh, versioned images inside of Alma Photo Raw. Uh, and you know, this, this may work out. So we're gonna come over to the info tab and these are 3,648 wide uh, on each side here. So what I'm gonna do is come up to layer, or is it uh, file, canvas size. So you're gonna come up to file, canvas size, hit that, and I'm going to times this, I gotta grab a calculator because I don't feel like doing this in my head, but essentially I'm going to double or uh, triple the 36, 48 times two, no, 36, 48 times three, 10, 9, 4, 4, 10, 9, 4, 4. Resolution can stay at 72. And let's go ahead and hit apply. And that is not what I wanted. So let's go ahead and command Z that. I'm gonna come back here, canvas size. Don't lock the proportions. 10, 9, 4, 4. Hit apply and this should widen. There we go. Now it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. I'm gonna click on transform and I'm gonna drag this photo over to here and stop it right about there. And then I'm going to come over to uh, my second photo and I am going to make sure I'm still on transform and drag that one over to here and make sure that it's covering up all those uh, pixels. And this one may be off a little bit. So I'm gonna come over to here and use my arrow keys this time. Just nudge it over. The, the goal here is making sure that your images are lined up on the canvas, covering the entire canvas.
what you can also do is come into each one of these images and go to the effects. And what we'll do is we'll leave all of that on, come over here and we'll throw borders. So I'm actually working on the middle photo. Boom, that photo's got a border. And now I'll come over to this photo and I'll add another filter. We'll add border and this one's gonna get a border. Now I'm going to come over to this photo. Uh-oh, did not mean to zoom in. Come over to this photo and you, you get the point here, right? We're gonna add another border. So now I have all of these photos inside of a border and you know this could be a really cool way of making a triptych so if you have something maybe there's uh maybe you take a photo of a tree in all four seasons right this is a great way of getting all four of those images with different presets with different edits into one canvas and then you can save this out so i'll just go ahead and hit done and you're going to see this render and it's going to pop back up into hopefully my albums, but you know, stuff happens where things have happened. Uh, and this is just a really cool thing that you can print uh, pretty large and hang up on a wall and it's something that you create it. So there you have it, something that's pretty creative and a way of using versions in a practical workflow. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, smash the like button. And if you didn't, then that's perfectly fine. In the comment section below, I want to hear some of the creative ways that maybe you would think of using versions in All One Photo Raw, or some of the ways that you have been using versions inside of All One Photo Raw if this is not the first time that you've seen it. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button. I post videos centered around On One Photo Raw on a very consistent basis. So if you are getting started with All One Photo Raw and you want to figure this out, uh, you can do two things. One, subscribe. Two, if you don't have a version of All One Photo Raw and you just want to try it out, get a temporary trial, go down into the description box below. There'll be a link that takes you to the All One Photo site. You can download All One Photo Raw for free, try it out, and if you like it, you can purchase it. If you do, it does. it is an affiliate link and it does help support this channel but at no extra cost to you. So consider that. On the 27th of March, I'm going to be hosting a live stream. I'd like you to come and hang out, chill. And if you have a photo or anything that you wanna see edited, then this is gonna be the opportunity to do so. You can send an email to freewillphotos at gmail.com. And if I have, you know, I do have a, a few submissions and I do have an agenda for the live stream, but I want to be able to give back and, you know, I'll show you how I do these types of things inside of All One Photo Raw uh, live and answer any questions you may have. So uh, that's on March 27th at 12 p.m. With that said, until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.